Hey, good afternoon, everybody. On today's Business Applications Lunch and Learn, we're going to be diving into Microsoft's mixed reality within Dynamics 365. This has a tremendous amount of excitement around it, and a lot of customers are starting to see how they can leverage the Microsoft HoloLens and take advantage of all the technology within their business applications ecosystem. My name is Nick Fratello. I'm a business application specialist based here in Burlington, Massachusetts. And on today's Lunch and Learn, we've got Esther Barbudo, a senior program manager with Dynamics 365 Mixed Reality. Esther, how are you? Hey, I'm great today. So I'll just jump right in. Does that sound good, Nick? Yep, that sounds great. Perfect. I'm going to share my screen um, and share my PowerPoint. So let me switch on over. Let me just start presenting here. I'm really excited to talk to you today about mixed reality. I'm a senior program manager uh, for mixed reality at Microsoft on Microsoft business applications. These are the products that fall under the Dynamics 365 brand. So mixed reality in general, what is it? If you haven't heard about it, um, I'll give you a quick overview. So at Microsoft, we think about three main big areas. Ubiquitous computing, so we want computing to be everywhere for customers in the future. Artificial intelligence and AI, so doing this computing smartly. And then having multi-sense, multi-device experiences. We also speak a lot about the intelligent edge and the intelligent cloud. If you think about the cloud, it's things like Azure, but the intelligent edge are things and devices that run on that cloud um, and do that computing from their local area. So we like to think about computing in a few waves. Um, everyone could remember the first time that they used their computer and personal computers. So computers went from these huge mainframes to something smaller as a PC desktop to even smaller as a laptop that then shifted to smartphones and mobile devices over time. The computing power got smaller and smaller so that you could access information on the go with some contextual awareness. And now we're in this age of mixed reality where you use the intelligent edge to capture ambient information about your environment and then surface that to users in their own physical space. So it brings the powers from the edge to blend the physical and digital worlds. So you can think of mixed reality as a spectrum. On one side, you have the physical world. So this is the earth and you have the digital or world on the other side. And then everywhere in between is mixed reality. You can think about AR kit, AR core and your mobile device as being part of augmented reality. You can think of the HoloLens, HoloLens one and two as being mixed reality devices. And then you can also think about virtual reality. So virtual is more on the side of the digital spectrum because you're digital, digitally immersed into the space. Yeah, it's important to, to point out there's information about all of the resources around us. So whether you're sitting in front of uh, an engine room or you're looking to perform maintenance within your business, right? There's records around this service and how to leverage that within you know, helping your field teams. And that's really where Microsoft Mixed Reality comes in, especially with Dynamics 365. Yeah, and you can think about this as really unlocking information that's never been captured before. So with IoT, we're getting a sense of our environment and collecting information that we haven't collected before. And then we're using our devices like the HoloLens, which understands its environment, to surface that information in the time that you need it. So a new reality of mixed reality. So this was a joint study done between uh, Microsoft and McKinsey. Um, they're seeing um, a huge potential for revenue in various, various areas. So there's the consumer side, which is more social. So you can think about like Pokemon Go, VR gaming, entertainment environments. There's also this middle area, uh, which has productivity and collaboration. Um, and then there's enterprise. So that's where we're really focused today, specifically on Dynamics 365, because of line of business enterprise apps. So these are solving big business problems with mixed reality. There's a huge opportunity here to change the way that we work, learn and communicate to get things done. So some sample use cases that we've seen um, throughout the various years since we released the first HoloLens one are use cases around remote assistance. So being able to empower employees in the space of work to solve very challenging problems by allowing an expert to see through the eyes of someone else, 
training and guidance, so being able to learn in the flow of work, collaboration and visualization, and contextual data analysis. So those were the sample use cases that we saw. And from those, we saw some value come out of it. And this is through Microsoft's own exploration and then also our partners as well. So we saw from mixed reality, employees and companies have seen improved skill skilling. So four times improvement to the service amongst the employees receiving mixed reality training, and 80% of companies improved collaboration across cross-functional teams using mixed reality. There's been efficiency gains, so boost in productivity, reductions of errors, and um, with these directions being given in mixed reality. And first-line workers feel emp empowered. So this is um, you know, bringing innovative technologies to your first-line workers and to your new generation of employees um, so that they have a new way to work in a way that they want to work. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that you can empower the ability to get things right the first time rather than having to do two calls in the field because you've got the information or you can collaborate with someone on the other side of the globe through the HoloLens and to be able to tap into that collective knowledge. It's, uh, it's really amazing. Totally. So on February 24th at Mobile World Congress, we introduced HoloLens 2. This is the new device. I'll talk to you a little bit about the changes um, and the benefits that we have with the new device. So since HoloLens 1, we heard a lot of feedback and this feedback was around a few things. So it was about the fit and the interaction of the device. Also the ecosystem being business ready um, as soon as you open the box and then um, ensuring that there was reliability, security, and scalability. So we, answer all, we answered all of those things, and we improved comfort, increased field of view, also um, our shipping HoloLens 2 with out-of-the-box solutions, both from first party and third party, and then HoloLens 2 runs on the secure, reliable environment that is Microsoft. Yeah, it's really pretty amazing, right? It's so the really ability awesome. to have Windows Hello right embedded within the lens and the like, yeah, like the comfort, the the ergonomics, it really is a, a whole new paradigm in in business and capabilities. It's, it's amazing to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the first time I saw that video, I cried a little bit. Um, it's just so beautiful yeah. watching yeah, the fireflies and also the applications to different industries from healthcare to education to manufacturing. It's it's the future is here, um, but I just want to walk through some key innovations for the HoloLens first. Um, so immersion, ergonomics, and time to value. So with immersion, we've increased the field of view two times, both horizontally and vertically. Um, you'll notice that it increased vertically more than horizontally. That allows people to read in a nat natural setting. Um, we've also um, created instinctual hand gestures. So uh, HoloLens one 
uh, you have to use the air tap, which is like this. It's an L that you squeeze down and a thing called the bloom. With HoloLens 2, you can use your hands as you were in, will in normal life. So pushing buttons, um, grabbing things, however you grab them normally. And also like Nick, as you mentioned, Windows Hello and eye tracking. So you can log into the device using your iris and Windows Hello, um, which is a lot easier than entering a password in mixed reality. Very good. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say it's pretty amazing on the, the demonstration during the unveiling at Mobile World Congress. The, the, the person demonstrating it was playing the piano and just, you know, the sensors are determining the spatial capabilities of that size of hand and it's tailoring the entire experience. And it's it's just beautiful the amount of engineering that's gone into it since HoloLens won about what, three, three, four years ago. It's yeah. uh, it's amazing just how the technology has come uh, in, in empowering whole new paradigms. Yeah, and that speaks to the device, right? So because this is a mixed reality device, it understands your world, but then also has cameras that understand your hands. So it knows that your hand is pushing that button and will respond accordingly. Ergonomics wise, uh, the HoloLens 2 is three times more comfortable than the HoloLens 1. You'll notice that the back has the main computing now uh, versus where it was in the front. So it's more balanced and people like to say that it's floating. It feels like it's floating on your head. Um, to do that, they, um, they ran many, many studies of, of many people with different head sizes, head shapes to make sure that they would make the most comfortable device. Also on the HoloLens 2, you might have noticed in the video, there's a flip up visor. So this allows you to use your HoloLens, but then flip it up to interact with people or to interact with your environment when you're not looking at the computer or not looking at the screen. Yeah, and I think you mentioned the comfort, right? So I've got a big head, big bald head, and it's amazing that they took 3D images of multiple people's, um, you know, the size of their head to get that optimal fit, right? So the ability to wear it for longer so that you can perform your job uh, they've put a tremendous amount of engineering resources to make sure that, like you said, it floats in the balance. And also the flip up is is really valuable for customers that need to, you know, have multiple different environments and to be able to mount it to helmets. It's it's really pretty amazing. We'll actually we'll link the unveiling video uh, to this lunch and learn session so that people, if they're watching this, will reference that in the uh, in the show notes as well. Um, or actually, you know, click on the uh, click on the icon up here, and you'll you'll be taken right to it. But it's uh, it's awesome to see that the comfort in ergonomics is a focus area. Great, thanks, Nick. Um, and also time to value. So um, we recognize that you know mixed reality is a new way to compute. It's a new way to develop. So we wanted to make it easier for enterprises and customers to get value from months to minutes. Um, so we are releasing this with Dynamics 365 solutions, which I'll talk to you, to you in a few minutes about. And then also third party industry solutions preloaded onto the device. So if you pre-order now, you get your HoloLens when it's available, you'll be able to access solutions from day one. It's like Christmas. So opening up your HoloLens box, you could start playing and getting value from your HoloLens to um, the day that you, you receive it. It's also commercial ready. Um, so it, we're, we've built the HoloLens 2 to be appropriate for commercial environments. This includes things like industry certifications and then also the HoloLens customization program. So say you have a special helmet that you're using or, um, you know, there are requirements, um, you know, for certain environments that you need to modify the HoloLens. There's a customization program that will be launched with the HoloLens 2 that will allow you to do this so that any industry can experience mixed reality. Uh, with the HoloLens customization, before I jump into the business applications, we have an initial partnership with Trimble. Um, and Nick, if you can link that to um, to this podcast as well um, with the Trimble hard hat with HoloLens 2 already attached uh, for for whenever it becomes available. We've announced that partnership as well. Yep. Great. So the Dynamics 365 business applications, uh, this is where my main focus is. And so on the HoloLens, it'll come preloaded uh, with a few of these these apps inboxed. We're going to talk about them today. So we have remote assist. This helps you solve problems faster. 
We have guides, which is learn by doing. We'll do a deep dive into guides later on. There's layout, which is about designing spaces and bringing 3D content into your real world. And then lastly, product visualize, which is our one of the first uh, MR uh, mobile applications for Dynamics 365 at Microsoft. This is helping you visualize products for your customers. So remote assist. Remote assist um, helps you see what I see um, to help me solve a problem. It's an expert looking through your eyes to see exactly what you're looking at and then providing annotations, circles, arrows, documentation so that you could solve the problem. It's built on Microsoft Teams. Um, so think about Teams in your field of view. Managers can walk the job site without being on the site, saving tons of money and travel costs. And also information, PDFs, images can be brought into the field of view so that you can see things and see manuals and see information while you're working. We are exploring um, mobile devices for Remote Assist and Remote Assist Mobile will be available for preview on April 1st. So keep an eye out for that one. All information will be on our website, um, Dynamics 365, um, via Microsoft's webpage. Yeah, um, that's awesome. If you could link that too. <laughs> yeah, I certainly will. We're going to have a lot of the, the detail in the show notes just because there's so many uh, great assets that help yeah. to tell this story. And, and this is integrated with Teams too, correct? Yeah, so it's integrated with Teams. It's built on Teams as the communication platform. So if you have Remote Assist or if you're trying Remote Assist, we recently announced a, a 90 day free trial in app. You'll need to have someone to call. So that person will need to have Teams um, if you're using Remote Assist. In this image on the PowerPoint slide, you'll also notice like a Dynamics button. This is for connection into field service. And so there is connection to field service available if you have field service or if you have a field service trial. Dynamics 365 field service. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I did notice the, the big Dynamics icon and it's nice that that's integration is there, right? So with Teams, with Dynamics, right at the, uh, the field, employee or the uh, the remote workers fingertips it's awesome yes it's it's great so the next application guides this was announced for preview on february 24th when we announced the new hololens uh, this is step-by-step -step guidance and step-by-step -step training um, this allows employees to engage with hands-on learning, literally hands-on because your head's up, hands-free. So you could use your tools while seeing how that tool needs to be used. Uh, you can see in the photo, there's instructions on one and two, and there's showing it's showing a ratchet with the motion that you're supposed to, or is it a ratchet? Yeah, so yeah. no, it's yeah. a wrench. <laughs> so it's, it's showing the wrench um, with the motion. It's tethered to the instruction card, so the instructions will stay um, in the place where you're supposed to complete them, regardless of where you are as the user. Yeah, it's, pretty, this, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. This is built on uh, CDS, the Common Data Service for Dynamics. Um, so you can generate data to improve processes. Uh, there are Power BI templates and dashboards that you can use to understand how people are completing the training, how long it's taking them, if they're improving over time. And this is all used to improve training effectiveness. That's cool. And I think you and I got connected, Esther, through Jivtesh's demo of using Microsoft Guides with the HoloLens to really do some maintenance at the Microsoft Technology Center's coffee machine, right? Yeah, Walking exactly. up to that coffee machine and understanding here's how to clean it out, here's how to empty it. Um, it was pretty amazing. Well, actually, we'll link to that in the in the show notes and in the uh, in the video as well. So uh, yes. pretty awesome, uh, easy to use too. Yeah, it's it's just like PowerPoint, right? So Guides has a PC app and has a HoloLens app. So you author everything on your PC, similar to like authoring something in PowerPoint or Word, and then you pop on your HoloLens, place your assets, and then allow someone to use your guide. Yeah, that's great. And then the Layout, our third application, uh, this was released in October, um, similar to how Remote Assist was released. Uh, this is the experiencing room layouts in real world scale. So imagine bringing 3D content into your physical environment. 
it's great if you need to concept or to visualize something conceptually um, before committing to buying a big piece of machinery. On April, we're gonna in April we're gonna ship some new features. These include measurement tools so that you could understand how that fits in space and what the actual size of that object is. And you know if you're trying to measure gaps or um, understand how it fits within a space, so there's some fit testing available. Additionally, we're doing other things like like snapping to other objects similar to like snapping to a grid in Excel or PowerPoint, but in your real world environment. That's great. Yeah, um, I'm looking, looking forward to April. There's a lot of great things that are coming, especially with mixed reality. Yeah, totally. And um, another thing to note with layout is that it um, includes a PC component too. So you use the PC to import your assets. You then send them to your HoloLens or you send them to your Windows Mixed Reality VR device. So with layout, you can design spaces in VR. You could design spaces um, on your computer. There's a Visio plugin available for you to create your space in Visio through layout. And then also you can design your spaces in HoloLens as well. Um, so it's it's really important to know. And similar to Remote Assist, um, there is an in-product free experience that if you have a HoloLens right now, you can go to the Microsoft Store, download layout, use it for 90 days for free, and see if you like it or see what value it brings to your company. That's great. And, then, and lastly, um, product, product Visualize. So we announced this in February. Um, it is um, helping people visualize 3D assets in their real space using iOS devices. Uh, so built on AR kit, AR kits, the iOS one. Um, so this is seamless integration um, to sales. Um, so using things like D365 for sales, it allows you to do voice notes and annotations on that object um, so that you could refer to it later. So say I you know, want to bring this, uh, this piece of machinery into my environment, but you know, it is too wide and I don't like the color. So I can make the notes here um, to make those changes, both voice notes and text annotations. This is going into preview on April 1 for mobile devices only. Um, so you'll definitely want to check out the web page, Nick, if you could link it um, to D365 Product Visualize. Currently, we have a blog and there's a general interest form that you could submit your interest via the web page right now. So before we um, kicked off today, Nick was asking me, you know, who's done this and like across which industry, who has seen value? And over the many years that HoloLens has been available and over the past year, actually, working with the first party applications, we've seen a lot of customers achieve value across industries. These range anywhere from Volkswagen, Toyota, Volvo, Daimler, um, our partners, PTC, um, to aerospace, um, Boeing, NASA, uh, Airbus, uh, manufacturing, Tetra Pak, Bentley Systems, Siemens. Oil and gas is a big one because, you know, these are really expensive operations and you can't afford to mess up. And so you want to limit the amount of errors. So things like companies like Chevron, Equinor, Shell, BP, Exxon, in the health space, Philips, Stryker, um, and then even in public sector, um, General Dynamics, the Air Force, uh, and Pearson for education. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So during the launch, uh, it, it hit home because PTC is a local company here in Boston. And uh, in a previous life, I spent uh, I spent about five or six years working at PTC, and it was great to see Jim Heppelman on stage um, unveiling the HoloLens 2 with Alex Kipman and to be able to showcase that. It was bringing you know two worlds together, and PTC is a great partner of Microsoft, and it's amazing to see this number of logos. It's uh, really pretty impressive. You know, some of the, the most forward-thinking companies are, are leveraging this in their you know field operations to be able to transform. It's awesome. Yeah, and we hope to add more, right? So Microsoft's mission is to empower everyone on the planet to achieve more. So with putting um, applications and you know, in decreasing the time to value, we want everyone on the planet to be able to experience mixed reality and to experience uh, the value that you can get from it. With HoloLens, we can create a completely different experience. 
with the PTC Vuforia solution and the Microsoft HoloLens together, I think we can really change the industrial market. The digital model is now becoming part of our physical reality. We're leveraging the Azure GPU stack because there we can compute all the graphics in the cloud and then stream just what we need to the HoloLens. Today, Howden is pulling ThingWorks data that's operating on an Azure IoT cloud environment, and it's overlaying that information through mixed reality. Our ultimate goal is to help doctors do procedures better, to help them innovate the procedure. I think we can really provide a transformative experience for our customers in the industrial market. Understanding how things are going to happen today, tomorrow, into the future, it's really just a game changer. So that was a video of some of our partners um, and uh, working with HoloLens too. So you notice Philips, Bentley, PTC were there, but there are um, dozens of others. Um, on that video, they also mentioned some of our mixed reality services. I didn't jump into those today, but there's more uh, more information available about this online um, through the HoloLens webpage. But you can think of this as a new stack, right? So you have your devices. This could be a mobile device running ARKit AR Core. Um, this is the HoloLens. This is Windows Mixed Reality. This is a drone or sensor or even the Azure Connect camera. They then have mixed reality services running on top of them. Things like digital twins, so 3D assets from the 3D space virtual world that you could visualize in the real world. Spatial anchors, so spatial anchors are um, anchors that keep the 3D asset um, or object in mixed reality on that space regardless of who is viewing it so it allows for a collaboration and then remote rendering so the ability to stream directly from the cloud so that you don't have to render and optimize you could render remotely lay on top of that cognitive services from azure things like vision speech language knowledge and search and then you have additional powers um, with the knowledge of ai um, built upon the 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 assets and the, the systems that you're already using and to generate really useful data. And then lastly, the top of the stack are the applications. So this is the UX, the UI, how people experience mixed that I talked about today, remote assist, guides, layout, product visualize, or partner solutions like the PTC, Bentley, and other apps that you saw in the, in the video just a few seconds ago. So Dynamics 365, I'm going to take a few minutes to go deep into Dynamics 365 guides, um, since this is the product that I work on and I'm very passionate about. Um, so I'll show you a quick video here um, from guides, um, learn by doing. It's also available on our web page as well. Work today is more complicated than ever. The old ways of training cannot get new employees up to speed as fast as the experienced people are retiring. We need a better way forward. Introducing Dynamics 365 Guides. Simple step-by-step -step instructions are easily written on a PC, and then holographic parts and icons are simply picked up and placed on the machine where the work is happening. From day one, employees are often expected to get work done, but the complexity can be overwhelming. Now, employees can learn by doing. This is a tool that works with existing processes, allowing a manager to get the right guides to their people. The instructions move with the employees, pointing them to the tools and parts they need showing them exactly where they need to apply them. 
employees get up to speed faster with fewer errors and more confidence. A simple glance moves them through the instructions, meaning their hands are free to do the work. They can learn at their own pace without having to rely on other workers around them. The overall experience is comfortable and intuitive. For the first time, a manager can see detailed information about how the employees are working and how their skills are growing. This makes continuous improvement faster than ever before. All of this helps employees make the complex simple so they can learn and adapt faster and organizations can stay competitive. That's Dynamics 365 Guides. And as Nick mentioned earlier, um, the way that we met, Microsoft Technology Center, who created a guide. And it's pretty awesome. So check out the link that Nick's going to post. Yeah, it's but pretty cool. It's the, you know, in the video, they say, make the complex simple. And again, it's it's really a whole new paradigm to be able to take you know, and empower those first line workers to take a very complex process and just break it down into simple steps. That's awesome. I love guides. Great. So it has three main key pillars. So engage employees with hands on learning. So literally hands on because your heads up hands free. So you could focus on the task at hands. Improve training effectiveness um, by providing information to to employees in the flow of work when and where they need it. And then generating data to improve processes. So in the video, you probably saw there was a Power BI dashboard. Uh, the manager could understand more about how people were doing the task, how quickly, how often, uh, so they can make improvements based off of that data. So I'll just step through these because I talked through them already. <laughs> so the hands-on learning, your heads up, hands free. Um, you can see there's a tether, there's instruction cards. It's telling you what to do when. Improving training effectiveness. Uh, this is a great image because it shows a video asset that was imported uh, for the guide. It also shows the gaze. So you'll notice in the upper right hand corner of the task card, it's filling in with the blue. Um, as you want to progress through steps of guides, you look at that arrow and it moves forward for you. So you don't have to click. You don't have to say next. You just use your eyes uh, to advance the slides. And then lastly, the Power BI dashboard. Um, it's very powerful to understand how users are completing. So these are the features that we shipped in public preview. Um, you'll notice the link, AKA MS Get Guides in the lower right hand corner. That'll tell you everything you need to do today to get started with guides and to experience the preview application, which is available now. So there's no code authoring. So you don't need to know Unity. You can just use your PC and get started making guides today. It's as simple as making a PowerPoint. Um, there's no 3D skills or programming skills needed. In the video and in the images, you saw the tethered instruction cards. So this is a card linked to the where the work is getting done. It's that dotted line. It's hand-free gaze control. So like I said before, you can advance the slides by looking at the arrow to advance it instead of having to click, having the air tap. You use th images, 3D videos, and 3D holograms and videos um, to show what needs to be done where. And this is, this is done through import on the author PC app. Um, the media is automatically optimized uh, so that it looks good on the HoloLens. If you don't have any 3D assets right now, don't worry. We give you enough assets so that you can get started right away. These are things like arrows, rings, hands. There are even drills and certain, certain tools that uh, we found that were common in most scenarios. If you do have 3D assets like FBX or GLTF files, you could import them and those are trans uh, coded for input, import uh, via the PC app. And then, like I said before, link to Power BI dashboards for valuable insights. And this is all built on Dynamics 365 and the Common Data Service. So this will allow future customization through CDS and through the CDM. How do you get started with all this stuff? This is great, but like, what should I do now? So if you're interested in HoloLens 2 um, and uh, pre-ordering, 
uh, you can go to HoloLens.com and pre-order a HoloLens 2 device. We're offering a bundle. You can also pre-order that so that you'll be good to go day one with Dynamics 365 Remote Assist and HoloLens 2. If you're interested in Dynamics 365 Remote Assist now, you could download it and it's a free 90 day trial. Um, more information on that is at AKAMS slash get remote assist. Uh, this would be a uh, remote assist running on your HoloLens one device. Dynamics 365 guides is up and available for preview. So it's AKA.MS get guides. And then Dynamics 365 is also available for a 90 day free trial. So AKA.MS slash get layout. And with all of these pages, these get layout, get guides, get remote assist, there's more information there on how to contact us if you need help, also on how to sign up for the Insider program for any of the apps. So if you want more interaction with the product team, we'd love to hear from you. So please sign up there. And that is all. Esther, that's great. There is just so much to, you know, learn about and a whole new paradigm in how business can take advantage of these you know next generation technologies that are here today i think you know the first time i put on a hololens like a, it, it's an amazing experience and i'm really looking forward to trying on hololens too and and uh, getting my first guide up and running but this has been great thank you very much and if you're uh, if you're new to our lunch and learn series we have a ongoing cadence of providing you the ability to learn about Microsoft's business applications ecosystem. And for mixed reality, we have a handful of mixed reality videos in our uh, playlist. So if you go to aka.ms slash business applications YouTube under playlist for mixed reality, which will embed in the show, but again, I want to say thank you very much to Esther for joining us today. And if you have questions or comments, or if you thought this was helpful, feel free to give it a like or to share it with a colleague and to be notified when we post new Lunch and Learns, be sure to subscribe. But Esther, thank you very much. This was uh, very informative and we look forward to having you back in future episodes as well. Great, it was my pleasure. It's time to get some lunch. I can't see what everyone, I can't wait to see what everyone creates. Awesome. Thanks, Esther. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.